One of the things I'm slightly fascinated with is skulls. In fact, I like them so much. I even have one on my desk, which kind of cracks me up and it creeps out a lot of people, but it's one of the things that I find quite beautiful. So today I wanted to do something which I got the idea for a few months ago and I couldn't get this image out of my head, which is the idea of death being the sympathetic character, which is hated by everyone looking at a newborn. And the newborn's looking at it sympathetically and death's almost afraid of this little child. And for me, a newborn child is what represents life. And so I wanted these two extremes to be looking at each other and looking at each other quite sympathetically. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've already seen the rough drawing that I already did. And with all my drawings, when I'm first trying to figure out how exactly I want them to look, I always do this part on tracing paper. And this allows me to be messy and not have to worry too much about messing things up. And then once I'm absolutely sure with how I want this to look, I'll transfer it onto the final piece of paper that I want to use. Now for all those dots, and for those of you who don't know, this style is called pontillism and it just involves doing hundreds of little dots, I always start with a smaller size pen. So with this one I started with a 0.05, which yes, is tiny, and then worked my up, way up to a 0.3 and then a 0.10, so that that way I could start off with the smallest details. You don't always want to start off with the biggest pen just because sometimes it's a lot easier to make a mistake. If you make a mistake with a small point, it's not going to be as noticeable. Adding the texture was something I was really excited to do because it made the whole painting a little bit more 3D. And what I also liked is it visually illustrated the difference between the baby and death. For me, the baby represented life, or at least someone at the start of it, and then death obviously represents the end of life. So visually, I wanted to show that the baby was gonna be completely blank apart from where it was touching death's face sympathetically, and then death was gonna have all these textures as though it was aged and worn and tired. After that I moved on to watercolours and I used watercolour on the poppies and then the ivy and what I did is I would pick out a section of the flower, like the petal for example. I would wet this whole area with a very small brush, wait for that water to sink into the paper just enough and then I would add the colour either at the very base of the petal or the centre of the poppy so that colour would slowly bleed out and this way I added more colours and layered them on top of each other. I started off with the red, I added some oranges, I added some purples, some yellows and especially on the ivy I added quite a lot of yellow on the outside of the poppy to make it look like they were dying a little bit on the very outside. And then the poppies, what I wanted to do is keep the very outside of the leaves a little bit paler and more faded than the centre of the flower, also to indicate age. Finally, I finished off with some gold. Now for the gold, what I have is I have some gold powder. So what I always do is I add a tiny bit of that powder to a small pot, add some water, and then I added that gold where I wanted it. I put some in the center of the poppies where the center of the poppies is black and so there'd be this beautiful contrast against the gold. But then I also added the gold on the tear for death and then a tiny bit in the baby's eye so it looked like it was reflecting from having looked at death. And that's ultimately where I left the piece. And what I really like about this is depending on the light, how you look at it, it's always looking a little bit different, especially with all the texture that I added. As usual, I've made this available up on eBay, so if you want to get your hands on the original piece, it's going to be available for the next few days. I'll have a link in the description box. But if you want an outline of the original drawing or a scan of the final drawing, I'll have that available on my Patreon.